In this tutorial, we are going to talk about creating a masking layer for your render in Simlab Composer. Using masks allows you to retouch and adjust certain parts of your rendered image using a photo or a video editor. This is a simple scene consisting of a bed and two nightstands with the materials and lights set and ready to be rendered. From the Render menu, select Real-Time Rendering. Adjust the camera's angle to your preference. Then select the camera you modified and from the Attributes panel click on the lock icon. Locking a camera prevents it from moving, and since you need to create a mask that matches exactly your render, it's a preferable practice to lock your camera after adjusting its angle. From the Render menu, select Fixed to render the image in the desired resolution. Once you're satisfied with the rendering quality, click on the Capture Image icon and save the rendered image. From the Render menu, click on Output Settings, and switch the rendering mode to Element Render. In the drop-down list you can find several modes that are helpful in terms of diagnosing and analyzing your scene. But in this tutorial, you will be using the Object ID type. Close the render settings and from the render menu select Fixed Rendering to create an image with the exact resolution as the one you already saved. Notice how each part of the scene has been assigned a different color based on its object ID. Click on Capture Image and save the Element ID image. You can use several types of photo or video editing software that can key colors to mask. In this tutorial, I will be using After Effects. Import the colored image and the object ID image to After Effects and add them to your composite. Make sure that the mask layer is on top of the color layer, and while the mask layer is selected, go to the Effects menu. Keying. Then select Linear Color Key. From the Effects Control Panel, click on the Color Pick, then click on the part of the render that you need to modify. Make sure you set the matching tolerance and matching softness to zero to select only the areas with the color you choose. The Linear Color key removes a single color value from an image, and since SimLab Composer assigns a different color to each object, combining both methods would create very accurate masks. Create a new adjustment layer and place it under the mask layer. You can add any effects to the layer. But in this example, I will add a curve adjustment layer and increase the brightness of the nightstand. I will also add a hue saturation layer and modify the color a little bit. The last step would be to hide the mask layer and use it only as a mask for the adjustment layer. To do that, set the adjustment layer track mat to alpha inverted mat. What this means is that we need the adjustment layer to be only visible where there is an alpha value in the mask layer. As you can see, the only part that had the color effect applied on is the nightstand.
You can add the mask image several times to your composition, each time selecting a different color to create a mask. Following the same steps as before, you can add as many effects as you need to each object separately using the Object ID Element Render. Simlab Composer's Element Rendering is a great tool that helps in adjusting your rendered image with great accuracy and ease. It is also a great tool to modify a sequence of rendered images in the case of rendering an animation, without having to re-render the sequence over a simple needed adjustment.